hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we would be moving further in our experience cloud tutorial series so in today's video we would be setting up our community cloud and we would be uh, learning about the licenses and the versions that are used in your uh, communities okay so if you just navigate from your home to the setup menu and uh, there you type search as all sites you see as nothing because by default this is disabled when you get uh, your uh, developer org or when you are working on your uh, enterprise or your professional orgs so uh, you have to enable it and how you are going to enable it using uh, you have to search in, in the quick find box as digital experience so if you uh, would type the sum amount only also then also it would get populated and uh, thereafter see uh, it is written as build pixel perfect websites portals and community forums with experience cloud okay after you enable digital experience you must create configure and customize and then activate a site before it's live and available to users so we are just uh, enabling our uh, digit domain and we could uh, have any name as per the availability criteria so i would be writing testing site so checking the availability so no this is already uh, booked so url test okay so this is it we could go with this so enable this by clicking on ok and uh, let it take some time guys now uh, what it will do is uh, it will uh, refresh your org and what you would be able to see here is uh, just let uh, me wait for this to load so see success you can now create cloud experience sites uh, this list shows the experience cloud sites in your org and we have would, could have maximum up to 100 sites uh, in one org okay so create a new site so um, basically um, what salesforce does is it provides uh, you with a set of pre-built customizable custom templates so that you could uh, not have to start from the scratch though you could even make your things from the scratch but yeah as a leap of faith what we could you could do is you could reside upon the existing functionality to have a, a greater sense so see in the choose your experience you could browse by marketing sales service and commerce so basically it depends upon your uh, imagination or your customer reach uh, to where you want this site to happen like uh, you are majorly centered to your marketing cloud sales or service so based upon that we are having certain templates so let me give you overview of these templates See, this is a standard based customization and uh, this is b2c commerce and basically uh, these are your help center uh, template this is your customer account portal so basically see what it does is record management third party integration streamline profile add knowledge base and moving over uh, to your customer service template that is the most commonly used template now so um, this is a self service collaboration customization as well as intelligence build your own aura so basically these templates are built over aura so anyone with a uh, basic knowledge of aura could modify these sites according to uh, the need so this is the partner centric website which deals on onboarding collaboration and support and analytics okay aloha is for your third party integrations and salesforce tabs plus visual force so standard custom objects and visual force that you could have in there by default okay then these are the functionality that you get by default okay now choosing a customer service template so start with the get started enter the name so if you don't want this you could uh, leave this but uh, this you could uh, have, have you could add so this is home or let me leave this 
blank only so now it would um, take some time and uh, it would load up some dummy uh, data as per your template as you uh, chose okay so guys our site is ready and basically uh, what we are seeing here is we are seeing the workspace where we would be managing our site okay so this one is our builder so what it does is let me explain you so click over it and see now it is redirecting us to a page what the end user would be able to see okay so in here there are two options one is the publish and one is the preview since we are in the system admin mode so let us see that how it looks to a system admin so this is just a dummy blueprint of our website and uh, this is a welcome tab these are feature discussions tab uh, in a trending post this is a contact support ask button so in here what we could do is we could add our custom components likewise see there is a dashboard report chart okay see like if i drag and drop my calendar uh, over here so what it would do is um, it would uh, drag down the calendar functionality that is pre-built to us by salesforce we didn't wrote any code in here so see show other calendars and let users create new calendars so these are some filters that we could apply over to this calendar so see uh, we could see our calendars likewise we could add the standard functionality like uh, this one welcome now this is the html editor so yeah you could have over it like see edit markup and see use this html editor so welcome to programming made easy okay now if we save this so see this is a uh, welcome to programming made easy and what you could do here is see you would uh, remove this heading as well see you could delete the component and see this would be now the uh, component uh, for all the users that would be seen, seen like this so this would how this site would look now as uh, we would see basically what advantage you would be seeing here is this is our mobile responsive so see uh, this is your mobile workspace so this is this would be your template header this would be the navigation menu so in mobile what you would be seeing is this concept like welcome to programming made easy ask a question and see this is the calendar and discussions feed so there is nothing up in here but yeah uh, we could uh, manage and add certain components in there as well so going back to the desktop mode so now since in the components as we could see here is there are uh, certain uh, pre-built components but yes you could add your own aura and lightning web components up to your community pages how we would be adding this what what are the settings required we would be understanding those in our further coming videos for now we would be just uh, focused over uh, the how this site is built and how we could customize this community so see oh, when i clicked over uh, this uh, settings pane what i could see here is uh, these are the list of pages that are there so see home account management case contact support so if i click on the contact support page what is there is see contact support help us so search name of the contact subject and description and you could raise up a case and similarly file object so this is a file detail so in this file detail tab what you could see is the files that are shared that you could share upload new file and follow someone who is uh, creating these kind of things like we just uh, do in our feeds so this is the files tab 
okay so now if you click over the logins it would tell you the default login page that what is uh, the look and feel of this login page even you could uh, customize your login page by providing your own login page like the page settings uh, you could have the title uh, the header tags the layout you could specify your own layout okay and uh, moving on there are certain other tabs like topic detail topic catalog user and for the user there is a user profile tab user settings tab so uh, you could see guys the power of salesforce that how it is providing with just a simple point and click tools it is providing uh, n number of things to us and uh, with those a number of things we could uh, add our own uh, functionality and we could build a very good fast and a responsive site so as well as uh, we could integrate uh, obviously with our backend that is salesforce so this is becoming the generic uh, trend in everywhere as people don't have to pay now for their websites as well as the data where it is resides so they are just moving over to salesforce so that uh, they could uh, have the cost cutting as well as uh, they could have the top notch security for these kind of things and uh, these uh, sites or these pages are generally uh, can be made within a fraction of seconds as we just created and if we had to create uh, this website using Scala so it would take us a time and the domain and hosting would also had cost much so yeah these were some benefits so these were the components that I talked about so now this is the theme guys from here you could customize the theme since we have the theme of uh, customer service template we could uh, and enhance the theme by these uh, Cypress, Stella, or Webster. So, like uh, if I do this one, I like this theme. So, if I activate this theme, uh, it is according to you. Uh, so, it provides various designs according to the theme specified. So, basically, theme is just like as you do in your uh, mobile phones, the light theme, dark theme. So, basically, yeah, you could relate to some extent to that as well. So now moving from your user profiles to back account management. So this component has no data. So yeah, this might not have some data. So go back to the home page default. So see, this is your site now, guys. This is the calendar that you drag and drop. And this is the landing page that would be limited to people. Uh, that you might want to display or not uh, what am I saying something some things uh, are for the advanced topics but yes uh, these things we would be discussing that how you could limit certain uh, certain uh, page or certain values certain text element to be shown to particular set of users you could create page variation for that so see this is your page structure in this you could uh, edit the header the hero section the search bar and these are the uh, these are the data that are present in here the sidebar the content footer that what is in the footer or what not so these are your settings pane so this is the theme that you are chosen uh, this is the default language the navigation bar default navigation bar you could yes obviously uh, update it according to your will so basically for beginners uh, i think this is uh, too much information so uh, in the next video we would be discussing more about this so till now digest this information search how these things work and in the next video uh, we would be working more over these topics so yes thanks for watching and subscribe to programming made easy